Hey guys, I'm going to share with you a story that you got to be very, very careful when someone calls and says, oh, I got some land to sell. Would you like to sell it? And it's all these acres and acres and your eyes are popping. Oh my God, look at the commission I'm going to make because look at all this land, 10, $20 million piece of land. Who are the, who are the sellers calling you? Who are the sellers? You got to be very, very careful when you pick up that phone or answer that email on who are the sellers that are asking me to sell their land. You got to ask for the passport, ask for the driver's license, as much ID as you can, match up the names with the records, the property records, because there's so many scams that are happening all over the place. So this is a story that was shared by a rock star agent, Anna Epitaph. She missed the bullet by this much. Who is Anna Apatamarco? She's a smart cookie. She's a Brooklyn born and bred girl who is a rock star agent, a rock star real estate agent, who is transplanted in Godforsaken, Pennsylvania. Go figure. I think she's in Chester County. I'm not sure. In any event, she had a case where she had a land sale, checked out the credentials from the sellers, and checked out the passport, passport, license, everything. And the names matched. But she had a hunch something wasn't right. And the seller, they had conversed on the phone, and the seller had an accent, I think an English accent. And it last traded, I think it was seven or eight years ago. She went to the county office, checked the books, like really dug deep, found out who was the agent that transacted seven or eight years ago when it traded hands last. Called up the agent, which takes a lot of balls because an agent that makes a deal, if I sold something to someone and they decide to trade it several years later, I'd be damn mad it was another agent called me and said, oh, well, the guy that you sold this property to, they want to sell it again, but I just want to make sure the credentials are okay. Well, Anna did her homework, made that call. I'm sure she was as sweet as sugar to the agent. And all she asked the agent, because the names matched, right? She had all the IDs. But Anna had a hunch that might not be 100% kosher. So she asked the agent, she said, do you remember these clients? And the agent said, of course, I, I'm in touch with them. What's going on? And Anna told her, and all Anna asked was, do they have an accent? And she said, no, not at all. And when they went into it deeper, Anna realized that these so-called sellers, sellers were scam artists. And like I said, Anna was saved this much, like this close by a bullet, and she just walked away from the deal. So, that's a lot. When you get a call, whether you're an agent or even a, a buyer looking for land, and someone's got a hot deal, and lots of land to sell, the IDs, the, t the license, the passport, you can have all the IDs under the sun, but there are very smart scam artists. Go find out who was the agent, who transacted, on the deal and dig into it like Anna did. You will save yourself a lot of aggravation and you can thank me and thank Anna Avita Marco in somewhere, somewhere still, Pennsylvania.